Hi cuties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nika and oh my god, it's 2016. I like, oh, I graduate in like five months y'all. I am so anxious, but anyways, moving on for this video, I want to do that 2015 tag. So uh, it's about 12 questions. Sorry y'all, I got the questions right here on my laptop. But it's about 12 questions and let's just get right into them. So the first question is, biggest accomplishment of 2015? <sighs> That's a tough one. Uh, my biggest accomplishment, it's been such a long year. Oh my god. But I would have to say my biggest accomplishment was one, still being on track to graduate college in the spring. Okay, next question. Best memory of 2015. So besides my like super fantastic amazing birthday weekend which was like stellar, literally everything to me, but okay if I had to pick something besides my birthday weekend it would be... <laughs> so you know me and a couple of my friends decided that we were gonna go on a bike ride during lunch, you know? So it was cute, like I had my weed flowing in the wind, I was riding around on the bike, blah, blah, blah. Lunch passes, like 20 minutes passes, I'm just like, oh, okay, cool, like I'll just take the bike back down to the garage, right? So there is a steep incline, and my ass thought I could just glide on down. <laughs> I'm literally riding down, screaming, because I'm going so fast, and just eat shit into this wall like literally just my I have a battle wound still can y'all see that yeah that's when I ran into that wall um biggest obstacles of 2015 I would have to say my biggest obstacle throughout this entire year was confidence self-confidence and like self-esteem I feel like I made huge strides this year like I honestly can say out of my 21 years of life, 2015 was when I felt the most confident, but I still feel like there's like a long ways to go, you know? Like I still- Okay, uh, next question, number four. Top five beauty project- Uh, top five beauty products of 2015. Y'all, okay, so I've been wanting to do this video for like the longest time, but yo, okay, this Too Faced palette- like I got it for my birthday and it came in that uh that something you know what? I'm gonna leave the name of it right here because I can't remember it right now but it was like their holiday special yo this palette is life so look at look at this here look at this so you get two blushes two brown bronzers yeah these are bronzers this is like a highlight this is the best highlight of all time like I'm wearing it right now this this entire palette is your face and it's so convenient for traveling and stuff like oh my god this palette has changed my life um so that was number one number two can it be like a duo because it's kind of like a duo so this fan brush like I didn't believe that you know it really mattered how you applied your highlight like I used to just use this little thing you know dip it in my highlight and then just you know go up and you know but no this will change your life I am not lying it is not a game it is not a gimmick like it just makes it so easy it puts it in all the right places like you should get you one of these and speaking of highlight this Bobbi Brown highlight, okay, I know I know. I just said that this highlight gives me life too, but that's because this is like a blush and a highlight in one. If you can see that color right there, let me swatch it for you. It's called Satin Sheets. It's literally a blush. And this is Bobbi Brown. I literally bought this from my best friend because I was like, girl, this changed my life. You need this too. And... And I saw it on her and it looked so cute. I was like, you have to have this. So this is Bronze Glow by Bobbi Brown. And if you watch Miss Rosh Posh, she raves about this all the time. I'm going to swatch that here for you too. And this is just, it's so good for people who have like bronze skin. Bronze glow, bronze. So you wouldn't even got to be black. But if you got like some Hispanic or some any. Okay, four. Yes, like this lip duo, I'm wearing it on my lips right now. So this is the MAC 
uh, cork lip liner and then this is the okay so I guess all the oh okay so this is lust by Mac oh I think I had this in my other video so this is lust by Mac with this cork lip liner y'all it is so bomb this camera like honestly is not even doing it justice it's so like natural looking and honestly I didn't even know what a lip liner was in 2014 for 2015 was the glow up and lip liners can change your life so I love this lip liner and I love this lip gloss and I love them together next oh it's my final product hmm. better than sex mascara you can't even see it like that but here better than sex mascara it's so is it upside down yes it is Yes, like, oh my god, this mascara, it's by Too Faced, like, oh, it's just so good, like, y'all, look, it's so good, and it's so natural, because, I don't know, y'all know me, I literally had to practice wearing lashes for, like, two weeks before my birthday, because I just, I don't know how to put them on, well, I did, now I know. But before my birthday, I didn't know how to put them on. I didn't know how they felt on my lashes. So I was literally like, waking up every day, putting my lashes on, and just seeing if I could wear them. But, like, this is better than sex. This is you don't even need false lashes if you have this mascara. Like, I love it. I love it. And so that, that that's it for that. I'm talking too much, and my laptop has gone. Bloop. Oh, okay. It's so question number five. Bloopers for 2015. Ah! don't know if I have any if I have any bloopers I'll insert them now but I've only made like 10 videos this year and I just started making videos in August so I'm not sure if I have a lot I got a new laptop y'all so I got a new laptop and so I only have like two videos that I've made on this laptop and my other laptop it's it's gone and that is probably the one that has all the bloopers on them. So, I don't know. I'll look. If I have some, I'll put them up here. If I don't, 2016, I promise y'all I'll have some bloopers. Um, question number six. Your favorite mainstream YouTubers and non-mainstream YouTubers. Okay. One. Oh, I just said it. Miss Rosh Posh absolute i'm not sure if he's mainstream or not but she's one of my absolute like favorite youtubers oh my god i love her her makeup it's so inspiring like ugh, she just be giving me life and i follow her on snap y'all should check her out i love her um let me see another mainstream miss dollface dollface x yeah she's a, she's hilarious like I I love watching her she's so funny and she'd be keeping it 100 and then my favorite non mainstream youtuber I actually just found this girl like this week her name is Tatiana Mercedes y'all she is so funny she is so fu like I literally watch her and I just crack up because she is so funny I'll put their YouTube links down below as well as anyone else that like comes to mind but yeah, y'all should check out their channels. The Ta Tatiana's the funniest. I ain't gonna lie. And Gersadies too. Gersadies is really funny too. Um, who else? Oh, Nathan Zed. But I think he's really mainstream. But yeah, so that's I'll I'll link them down below. Question number seven: Regrets of 2015. Regrets. Regrets. Hmm. I'm going. I'm going to pause it here. Okay, my mom's vacuuming in the background, y'all. Just, I'm sorry, but I mean, it is. <gasps> Are you done? Ooh, okay. Question number seven. Regrets for 2015. So. Honestly, I can't be the only one, but when I have feelings for someone, I deny them. I lie to myself about them. I'm just like, no, I don't. I don't like you. I You don't have me feeling this type of, like, I don't. I box it all up inside. It's probably, like, my 
biggest regret of 2015, just, like, not telling people how I feel about them and, like, not being completely honest with my feelings and being in denial about my feelings. So I'm going to try to change that in 2016 and try to, you know, be like, yes, I have feelings for you. But I just get so nervous. And I would just rather not. Like, I'd rather just be alone. I'm cool with being alone, y'all. I don't need a man. I don't need him. I don't need him. Most memorable phrase from the year 2015. Y'all in IRL know what it is. Hashtag know what? 2015 y'all know y'all know I don't know if I can say it on camera though because I I'm still trying to get a job when I graduate college so you know I ain't trying to say all these profanities and stuff um other than that I'd have to say it was lit it was lit it's lit was it lit or why you lying yeah actually I, I, I recant why you lying was 2015 why you lying <laughs> why you lying why maybe I have too many liars in my life that was my most memorable phrase from 2015 what does that say about me y'all um number 10 lessons learned from 2015 <sighs> I have grown so much this year and like honestly I have made <sighs> okay so my biggest lesson learned this year was that like I can trust people and like people sometimes people just want to be your friend another lesson I learned this year was K Saras whatever will be will be chill like if something's not meant for you it's okay to fail I and I did not understand the meaning of that until like the last couple of months like because I'm the type of person that I'm such a people pleaser that I'm just like oh yeah yeah it's okay to say no it's okay to fail it's okay to not be with because not everything's for everyone it's okay it's okay on to the next on to bigger and better things um goals for 2016 <sighs> So I mentioned this earlier, but one of my goals is to really just like wear my hair more often, play with it more often, and I want it to grow. Like I want my hair to be like this, but like down to here. So, you know, we got, it's already kind of, it's already down to here, like when it's straight. I just want it to be down to here curly, so that's probably like down to here straight. Curly. So I really want to grow out my hair. That's one of my goals for 2015 or 2016. Another goal is to get a job. Another goal is to graduate college, which I'm I'm on track to do. I just have to take 18 credits next semester, knock them out, and I should be walking on that stage. So that's really exciting. Um, another goal. I want my channel to grow, guys. Like what we're at, like 60 subscribers right now. Hopefully by the end of 2016. I want to have like 10,000 subscribers. That's so ambitious, but go big or go home. Go big or go home. All right, and number 12. What am I looking forward to in the new year 2016? Graduation, graduation, graduating from college. It's actually really scary to me. Yeah, so I guess that's it for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me comments down below, y'all. What are your goals for the new year of 2016? Let me know. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And as always, stay cute, booze. I'll see you in my next video.